This is Tesla's brand new 2021 Performance Model 3. This is a little bit over their 1 millionth Model 3 made. You may have heard of it, Tesla has been dominating the auto industry and this Performance Model 3 has been dominating the street. Oh my god! <laughs> this is too fast. Hey you guys, it's Taylor, also known as the Tesla Photographer. Welcome back to another video. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Hook me up. Thank you. Why does this car dominate the streets? Well, to start, it only costs around $57,000. But with this $57,000, you get a 3.10 to 60, a top speed of 161 miles per hour and 315 miles of range on one charge. You get a feature called track mode, which we'll talk about later. You get the crazy good Tesla autopilot and a bunch more features I'm gonna cover later. The cool thing about ordering a Tesla is you don't even have to go to like a car lot and go to a dealership. What you do is you literally just go on your computer, you type in build your Model 3 and you can start building your Model 3. You quite literally can build it to your liking to an extent of course. You get done in a matter of five steps or so. After you commit to it by putting down an initial payment, you begin the process of waiting. This wait time can be anywhere from one week and I've, all, I've seen 12 weeks, so it all depends. Once your car is made, you now have two options. You can either go to a Tesla delivery center, which is the classic way to do it, or you can do their a little bit newer way where you can actually get the car delivered to you. So if somebody goes from that delivery center and they drive to you. Enough of this, let's talk about the Performance Tesla Model 3. Overall, this car is stunning. Its minimalistic and futuristic exterior is quite an eye catcher. The Performance Model 3 comes with these really cool futuristic looking 20 inch Uber turbine wheels with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's on there to handle its crazy acceleration. It also comes with beautiful red painted calipers. These calipers are also different than the other Model 3's out there. They are a little bit bigger and can handle heat a little bit better. It also comes with a nice carbon fiber spoiler on the back and to top this whole look off, it is lowered about an inch on Tesla's sport suspension. The 2021 version also has some notable changes such as a power trunk, black exterior trim, it used to be chrome by the way, a center console redesign, heat pump system, heated steering wheel, and a USB port in the glove box, which has Tesla's dash cam and sentry mode on it. And it got a little bit of a new headlight redesign, mostly the bulbs. So clearly the exterior looks pretty stunning. Let's move on to the interior. First of all, the way you get into this car is by either using a key card or the more common way for owners is you get in using the Tesla app on your smartphone, which uses Bluetooth. This Tesla app can also do some pretty crazy features such as summon your car. You can preheat or cool your car from the app. You can turn on your heated seats from the app. You can check where your car is on a navigation which shows its speed and everything. And you can also do a bunch of other features such as honk the horn, flash the lights, turn on and off sentry mode, control your charging limit and the time that you're charging, and much, much more crazy features. As for the interior, most are stunned by its minimalistic design and lack of buttons. Some new owners can be overwhelmed by this, but in a short amount of time, you can get used to this screen having everything on it. Not only do people get used to it, but I find that most owners start to actually love that center screen. Let's take a look at some of these tabs. Here we have quick controls, and this is just most of the controls you use consistently, mostly maybe while you're driving. Then we have a bunch of other ones that let you customize your settings for your wants and needs. I'm gonna show you guys this really quick right now as I speak because it's quite a bit and I promote you guys to pause and check out each one of these areas because it's got quite a bit. 
Some of these features include like autopilot settings and customization. You can customize how your car locks, how your sentry mode turns on and off. It's just a bunch, a bunch of settings. On the topic of the screen, I do wanna talk about this bottom bar because it has a quite bit crammed into it. You have a ton of music controls and then there's this little arrow that's a whole nother menu. This shows things like your trip information and how your efficiency is doing on this trip while you're using your navigation. But there's also another one called entertainment. This one is used for literally turning on things to entertain you while you're sitting in your car. Doesn't matter what you're waiting for. I typically use this when I'm charging, but this is an actual screen with games Netflix, Twitch, YouTube, all this crazy stuff on there. And then the tab to the right of this is one of my favorites is Toy Box. On Toy Box, you have this mode called Boom Box. And in these new models, it has an external speaker and you can literally turn on random noises. You can even customize these sounds by using that USB in the car and you can play whatever you want. Here's my favorite sound right here. The interior space is quite amazing. In fact, every spot, every seat spot on the car, if someone's sitting there, has quite a bit of storage for them. You have these side door compartments which offer a ton of space for random stuff and water bottles in every door. You also have this massive, massive center console that you can put a ton of stuff in there. I really, really love it. The only downside with this center console is you can put so much in this but you can't organize it that well. I find myself piling stuff on top of each other and in the long term of owning this car, as you start to get more and more stuff in this car, it gets a little messy. For example, if you have uh, different pairs of sunglasses, I always find that as quite the task to grab out with a bunch of other stuff in there. The Performance Model 3 also comes with Tesla's premium interior. Now this interior allows you to do a bunch of things some of the main features are you have every seat as a heated seat, even that cute little middle one in the back. The other thing that it comes with is it has an incredible audio system. Oh man, this audio system is killer. Okay, I'm over beating around the bush. Let's talk about how this Model 3 drives and the performance in the Performance Model 3. To sum it up, this car drives incredibly well, you guys. It has a low center of gravity because it pretty much has this huge battery on the bottom of the car that's right above the ground. And that gives you guys the ability to take turns at high speeds. It keeps the ability to have um, just in general, a low center of gravity. It keeps those wheels on the ground, keeps good traction, and man, it can handle that acceleration really well. Not only can this handle turns and high speeds really, really well, this car can also handle low speeds really well. And what I mean by this is you can take your kids in there and drive comfortably and you don't have to be so fast and it's not uncomfortable. You can really just chill out and be able to drive the kids from A to B or a family or whatever you wanna do. This car drives very broadly <laughs> and you can really drive slow like a grandma or you can drive crazy fast like a young punk like me. I'd also like to quickly throw out there that the zero to 60 time on this car competes with some pretty crazy cars. Some cars that you can race and maybe win in the short term is a McLaren 675 LT, a Ford GT, a Mercedes AMG E63 and the Acura NSX. On the topic of speeding, I'd also like to mention that this car has a chill mode. And this is pretty much if you can't handle yourself anymore and you have to drive slow. This turns that 3.10 to 60 into about six seconds. This car also has a new and advanced feature called track mode, which allows your car to break its typical rules. And you can do things like changing your power distribution to the rear or front wheels. You can change it from anywhere between fully to the back, fully to the front, or somewhere in between that fits your needs best. You can customize your traction control. You could even turn it on harder, or you can turn it on way soft or pretty much off for that matter, if you wanna handle things like harder turns without traction control kicking in. You can also manage how the car cools and you can do pre-cooling before you start to drive your car hard while it's on track mode. It will. You can also have it cool more aggressively. 
you get your dash cam to record what's going on with telemetry. And you also get a meter that shows not only your G-force, but it will show everything that is going on in the car and whether it's overheating or not. Pretty much it shows green if everything's good and dark, dark red if everything is overheating which this car rarely overheats. I'd like to just throw that out there too. So in other words, Tesla really wants you to just dominate on the track with confidence. So what's it like living with this car? Maybe with a family, maybe on your own, maybe you drive this to work every day. Well, it's actually pretty normal. Now you can drive your family, like I said, just around fine. You can go to work and back just fine and you should have enough range after that and everything. You shouldn't really have to worry about range during the daytime you will mostly just have to plug in and charge at night. It's pretty simple. Even though this car does have a crazy zero to 60, pretty much like the Lamborghini Aventador, it can also just do daily stuff really well. And that includes take out the groceries, take your kids to school, do pretty much anything you want on top of all the crazy stuff. I also wanna mention that this car is pretty much the safest car out there. Not only does it have a five-star rating, it's also on Motor Trend's top list of their safest cars ever. Overall, the Performance Model 3 is an absolutely stunning car with industry-dominating features and safety. This car is very low cost, of course, after you purchase it to drive around, and it only costs me about $50 every month for my dual motor. If you are not at home, it also has an incredible charging network that is pretty much unbeatable at this point. And on top of all that, it can hold its ground against supercars. From my years of experience with the Model 3 in general, but in particular the Performance Model 3, I seriously and can confidently give this car a straight up 10 out of 10 rating, you guys. If I had a lot of bad stuff to say about it, I would truthfully just spit it out and say it. But this car for its price point is truly crazy and stunning and it's really, really hard to beat. I'm absolutely telling you and I encourage you guys to take a test drive. Find out for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this extensive review video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.